Welcome to Fast Friday FAQs. Say that three times fast. I am Sarah, the creator of the Fat Loss Fast system. And today's question comes from, oh my goodness, it comes from so many of you. The most common question I'm asked is, Sarah, will it break my fast if I add a splash of cream to my coffee? or if I add a tablespoon of coconut oil to my coffee, or if I drink that bulletproof coffee. Okay, well let's break it down. So one tablespoon of half and half cream is 20 calories. Fasting works because you keep your insulin levels low enough such that you can still burn fat. Fat oxidation can still occur. Now, that doesn't mean you can get away with constantly consuming 20 calories here and 20 calories there during your fast and remain in fat burning zone because you won't. You have to be reasonable and pick your one little thing that you're going to splurge on during your fast. Meaning, if you wanna squirt lemon into your water, coolio. If you wanna have some pre-workout, coolio. If you wanna have some cream in your coffee, well, coolio, because that's the word to say. Now let's shift the topic to coconut oil. So one tablespoon of coconut oil is a whopping 120 calories and 14 grams of fat. Now, coconut oil, it's a fat. Fat is not going to cause your insulin to go boom. It's not going to have any effect on your insulin. So technically, no, that's not going to disrupt your fast. However, and there's always a however. Here comes my opinion on the subject matter. The common mistake that I'm seeing is that people will consume the coconut oil during their fast in their coffee, but then when it's time to break the fast, they don't subtract the calories from the coconut oil or the grams of fat from the coconut oil from their daily caloric and macronutrient requirement for the day. So guess what happens? You're eating in surplus, so guess what happens? you're not going to lose any weight. In fact, you're going to gain weight. Quite frankly, I'd rather not have coconut oil during my fast because that way I can enjoy my eating window and pig out on all of the allotted calories and macros for the day, but that's just me. Remember, there are a lot of calorie-free options out there, so you could easily substitute the coconut oil for something else, a calorie-free beverage, for example. Let's get to the hot topic, bulletproof coffee. Now, what is it? Well, this is coffee that has been spiked with about two tablespoons of coconut oil and two tablespoons of butter. This amounts to 456 calories and 46 grams of fat. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't wanna start my eating window having to already subtract you know, almost 500 calories from my allotment and know that I have to pretty much be eating all protein and carbs, which is challenging to do considering most food contains all macronutrients. So I'm not a fan of this because I think it's really easy for people to end up over consuming by the end of the day because, I mean, you're just drinking this oily stuff, so you're not even getting satiety from it. So you're gonna end up eating as many calories as you would have during your eating window had you not had this particular style of coffee. Another reason why I'm not a fan of it is that case studies have been done showing that the Bulletproof coffee is boosting lipid levels and otherwise healthy individuals. So I think there are alternatives. I mean, why don't you just put the splash of cream in your coffee for 20 calories? And keep in mind that the coconut oil is not going to let you burn the stubborn fat even if you consume it in a fasted state. Why not? Because the triglycerides will inhibit an important enzyme, it's called hormone sensitive lipase, that's responsible for breaking apart the stubborn fat. So that's why low carb diets never shed stubborn fat. The only way you can truly shed stubborn fat is by having a pure fast. So for more great information about intermittent fasting, please sign up for my free tutorials directly to your inbox. You can go to startfastingtoday.com or just click the link below this video. If you found this video helpful, please do hit that like button and leave me some comments. Thank you so much for leaving the comments on the other videos. I really appreciate getting the feedback and it helps me establish what to do next. So 
If you think this would help out a friend, then please don't hesitate to tag them in this video or share this video. Thanks, and until next time, have a great week.